Hello everybody, this is Trading Gamer back to kick off round one for group F of my tournament. And at first we will see Diddy Darius taken on Arctic oh, taken on Arctic Warriors. And then we will see Dino Nerd going up against Ratchet. And then conclude in this video with Jonas Chew taking on Dino Hug. So let's get on with our first matchup, which is Diddy Darius against Arctic Warriors, and I'm looking forward to this one. All righty then, in the red corner for Diddy Darius, we have a Gigant Spinosaurus. Diddy Darius was one of the guys I pointed out in particular doing um, go when I went through everyone's teams as quite an interesting team he's got. Good, good solid movesets and could be one to watch in this tournament. But it's going to be tough because in the blue corner for Arctic Warriors, we got an Alpha Kentrosaurus. This is very much the attacking variety. <laughs> oh, I get carried away sometimes. Yeah, this is tournament hype. I'm excited. But which one of these stegosaurs will reign victorious? Well, the Kendrasaurus gets off the first hit. Ooh, and the poison as well. Good start from Arctic Warriors there. Arctic Warriors was quite impressive during the group stage of my last tournament. I think only losing once. And getting that. I think Arctic Warriors is the one that was involved in that draw with Danix Tackle. But anyway, back to the match. There goes the poison. Good hit there by Gigant Spinosaurus, even in the score. Oh, that's a tie. Ties don't really favour anybody. Well, maybe the Kentro, because it did, did get the Quake Saber triggered there. But the Gigant Spinosaurus getting off another hit. Diddy Darius looking pretty good so far. But it's quite an even match. There's the Technique Boost. No, Defense Boost, sorry. Defense Boost. And that Defense Boost is all maxed up. Ooh, and it's going to need it, because it's a Quake Saber. This is going to do big damage to the Gigant Spinosaurus. Will it kill it? Probably not. Well, it shouldn't. No. Mainly because of the defense boost. Ooh, and an earth barrier as well. The Alpha Kentosaurus getting off a big hit there to give Arctic Warriors a slight lead. Oh, there's the banana surprise. The Alpha Kent, the clash of the Stegosaurs goes to Alpha Kentosaurus as Arctic Warriors takes a 1 0 lead. Alrighty then. As for the Diddy Darius' second dino, we have an Amargosaurus. This Amargosaurus, I also commented on doing that team going through video ness thing. I was having a very interesting moveset, which I actually really like. It's Crisis type, it's got that Final Fury, and it's got that big heavy hidden crit. So, yes, this Amargosaurus could definitely do some damage, provided it gets actual hits. Well, there's one hit. The Earth Barrier is going to be nullified. There goes Earth Barrier. An attack boost as well, which will definitely help the Amargosaurus. Ooh, but the Kendrosaurus getting off a hit there. This Amargosaurus is crisis type, so when it's on low health, it will get a lot stronger. Die. Ooh, I think that's the end for Alpha Kentro. Diddy Darius even in the score. And the Amargosaurus is all maxed up in attack boosts as well. And it will have the type advantage over this Sauropagonax. So Arctic Warriors not in the... does have the lead. Does have the power of the Sauropagonax. I mean, look at that. Full tilt Sauropagonax here. But... The Amargosaurus does have the type advantage. Game feels really quiet for some reason. I mean, I have it at the normal volume. Ooh, I could have done some major damage if I had been resolved. Oh, it's a burning dash! This might actually kill the Amargosaurus. If not, it's going to leave it on a tiny sliver of health. So you know what that means. Final Fury is going to be a factor. 
Yeah, no surprise there. Can a Margasaurus get the hit? Oh, he gets the tragic! He gets the hit! Oh, this is, this is gonna kill Sorofax. Sorofaxmax is dead. The Futaba Cannon, and the Final Fury, and the Attack Boost Max Stats. This is gonna be lethal. Oh, look at that! Didn't even need the Final Fury. Look at that! Decimates the Sorofaganax. Diddy Darius' moveset paid off big time there. Otherwise, Arctic Warriors could have had a big lead. But now, instead of Arctic Warriors having a big lead, they're actually behind. But they do have a full tilt Mega Raptor here, so don't count them out yet. Oh, this has been an exciting match, hasn't it? A full tilt Futaba Cannon decimating the Soro Faganax. Okay, the Mega Raptor does finish off the Amargosaurus, so the Amargosaurus will not be getting off any more hits. Could be crucial that for Arctic Warriors here. Alright, we'll just get this animation. Alright, as for Diddy Darius' third dino, we have the Tank Tector. Or Tank Dino Tector. Pretty much. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I'd say like the um, MVP of the team, maybe. The powerhouse of the team. I expect it will get off a sand trap or two as well if it gets off ties and the earth barrier. So this Mega Raptor's gonna need to get some hits in if uh, Arctic Warriors wants to secure this win. I don't know. My, my money's on Diddy Darius. Oh, there's a tie. Ties do favour Tank more. Oh, no sand trap though. I suppose that's why Diddy Darius has the technique boost. Speak of the devil, there's the technique boost activating there. Tank Tector getting off the first hit. And an earth barrier as well. Diddy Darius tightening the screw on his on this match. Arctic Warriors in a bit of a pickle. Oh, the tank getting another hit. Mega Raptor is in trouble. Diddy Darius guaranteeing himself at least a losing bonus point, but from, from the looks of this match, losing doesn't seem to be happening for Diddy Darius. Yep, that's Mega Raptor gone. Diddy Darius cleaning house there, and I'd probably say deserves that win, to be honest. They were quite impressive, especially that Amargosaurus one shot in the Surofaganax. A good win there for Diddy Darius. Arctic Warriors, I'm sure they'll do better in few inner upcoming matches so it's not all doom and gloom but Diddy Darius proving to me why I rated their movesets so yep that's round that's match one done we're gonna move on to match two which sees Dino Nerd taking on the tournament new boy Ratchet all right then in the red corner for Dino Nerd we have the Giganonosaurus Giganonosaurus was part of his team last time but this time I think it's seen a little bit of an upgrade. For all the power in the crit there. Look at that. 2,000 pat a total attack. And 820 technique. Very respectable. However, it will be tough because in the blue corner, for Ratchet, we have the tournament powerhouse, the T-Rex. This T-Rex or not is not one to be trifled with. That blazing spin attack will do an arse ton of damage if you get to that. And it does have death fire as well, so... Dino Nerd's going to have to watch his six here. I feel like Deathfire could be a big factor in this match. Well, that's a good start from Ratchet there. A fire cannon off the bat. A decent amount of damage done there. Ooh, but the Giga gets the hit back. Oh, this is like Dominion, isn't it? Oh, there's a big crit coming from the Giga! It's a Crimson Flame! Gotta get me wits about me. Otherwise, it won't be a big crit, it'll be a mini one. Boosh! Got it! Yes! <laughs> Oh, big damage coming Rex's, Rex's way. Ooh, look, yeah, it is like Dominion all over again. Oh, 
That's quite disappointing, actually. Although, I, I, I never rated those special moves, to be honest. Oh, speaking of crits, Giga got off his crit, and now it's the Drax's turn. And this crit will do damage, and it will kill the Giga, so Ratchet is going to have a 1-0 lead. Alright then, as for Dino Nerd's second Dino, we have an Ulura Titan. Ulura Titan here, looking pretty good, pretty good with that crest. <laughs> the big foot assault is obviously the big threat for this duck. The big move from this dinosaur, but you know, green impulse could always come in handy, you never know. But it's gotta get past this T Rex first, and ideally, kill it without getting Death Fire triggered. Oh, it's disaster! Disaster! It's another blazing spin! Ooh, the Titan's gonna take a beating! Ratchet gonna have a 2 0 lead at this. Okay, he's not gonna get off Blazing Spin. Instead, the Ulura Titan gets off the head. Oh, it didn't even kill it. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay, this tie will finish off the T Rex, so Dino Nerd has managed to avoid the Death Fire. However, as for Ratchet's second Dino, we have the Alpha Allosaurus. This Alpha Allo will have the type advantage over that Ulura Titan. Not that it really matters at this point because the Ulura Titan is on low health and will probably die anyway. But you never know, can Dino Nerd chip away at this thing's health? We'll just have to see. Alright, that's three. Nope! Oh, oh, nope, it's the ACT rocket. So the Allosaurus will not actually land any damage. But once that ACT rocket lands, it will be game over for Ulura Titan. Will it come back now? Oh, it doesn't! Ooh, the Ulura Titan getting a cheeky little hit there. <laughs> Literally, little. Oh, hang on a minute. This is a power drain. And this will do damage because it won't be affected by the type advantage. disadvantage. Dino Nerd put up a fight. Hey, there's the rocket. The Ulura Titan will in fact go down, but it did chip away at the Allosaurus's health. Okay, as for Dino Nerd's third Dino, we have a Super Therizinosaurus. Seems to be quite the popular Super Dino in this tournament. Gone for the full tilt, and it will not and it will not be one to be trifled with. So Ratchet's gonna have to be careful facing this thing, as it could slice and dice its way to victory. Ooh, but another ACT rocket coming from the Alpha Allosaurus. Wonder when this one will land. Just hmm. once. Oh, big damage coming from the Allosaurus. It's a ninja attack. I think this could be the end for the Super Fairy with, with the ACT rocket coming as well. And the poison! Yeah, I think this is curtains for the fairy. Oh, yeah, definitely curtains from the fairy. It's a bonus point win for Ratchet. A good start from our new tournament debut jump. And the super fairy goes down. Yeah, good win, good win there for... Um, Ratchet, a good start in a competitive group. As for Dino Nerd, I'm sure they'll get I'm sure they'll get wins on the board, they'll get results. Alright, now on to our third match and final match of this video, which sees Jonas Chu taking on the naughty boy Dino Hug. Alright, then in the red corner for Jonas Chu, we have a Stegosaurus. Jonas Chu opened the last camp, the camp their campaign in the last tournament with a bonus point win, and I'm sure he'll be seeking to do it again. This Stegosaurus does pack quite a punch. 
In the blue corner for our Dino Hug, we have the Sanctuaries. We've seen how the Sanctuaries can perform during my Earth Tournament. It was very impressive. Can Mr. Sanctuaries do the job for Dino Hug? We'll just have to see. We start with a tie. Ties favor the Sancturus more. And the Sancturus gets the first hit there. Not too much damage dealt, however. Good start from Dino Hub, though. Desperate need of points early on, given the points deduction. And while so far none of our naughty toddlers have won their opening match with Dino under loss, Iron Dan did get a losing bonus point though. You know, we never know how crucial that could be. So let's hope. So Dino has surely hoping to fear better than those two. But the Earth Barrier coming from the Stegosaurus. Oh, but it's Sand Trap from the Decentraurus. Um, a 50-50 start so far, but could this be key for Dino Hug here? Boosh! Sand Trap will lower the Steg's defense in a tie, mean it, meaning it will sustain more damage when it's a tie. Ooh, but the Stegosaurus gets off the head, and it's a Mole Attack. This Mole Attack won't do too much damage to the Centurora, but it will leave it on low health. Oh, a kill? Oh, never mind, a kill that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, maybe this Stegosaurus is Crisis type. I forgot which code I used. But anyway, as for Dino Hub's second Dino, we have the Super Opistocena Claudia. We've seen how effective this beast can be in previous tournaments. Will it do the job for Dino Hub in this match? Well, we just have to see, won't we? Because he's got this Stegosaurus to get past first. And the Stegosaurus still has Earth Barrier, so... So yeah, here's the crit, but again, the Earth Barrier will limit the damage. Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I can't tell anything with this. It killed the Stegosaurus. Alright, as for Jonas Chu's second dino, we have a Mapusaurus. This Mapusaurus will be at a tight disadvantage against our Pistocina Claudia, so this could be a key matchup in this match. And Dino Hug take advantage. Ooh, pissed to see the Cordia getting the first hit there. But yeah, look at that, a tight advantage coming through. Okay, that's once. Yeah, that's once. Awakened on two, I believe. Oh, so it'll be awakening mode next. There it is. It's time to wake up a Pistocena Cordia. Although, a bright side for Jonas is that it will lose half its health. Oh, that's a tie. Here comes Ocean Panic. No surprise that activates because this, this thing currently has 2200 techniques. So, Ocean Panic was pretty much inevitable. And it's an inevitable ability that this Magnosaurus is about to die. Yep. But the Mackle Source is gone. Alrighty then, as for Jonas Chu's third dino, we have the Spinotector. The Spinotector came close to winning the Water Washout Tournament, if you remember. Spinotector, pretty much the ace of Team Jonas. And he's going to need it to put its weight here if Jonas wants to get back in the match. But as I said, as a saving grace, the Epistocena Cordia will lose half its health. So, you know, only got to do half the job. Ooh, and that's... Oh, it's Dino Stepher! <laughs> I forgot he got Dino Stepher. Well, that would have been an ideal start there from the Spino Tector, but the Dino Stepher came in and said no. However, that bar at the bottom will still fill up. So Dino Tector might be needed here if Jonas Chu wants to win this match. All right, Spino Tector gets the hit there. Oh, that's a tie. No Ocean Panic, though. Ooh, there's a hit from the Epistocene Accordia. Aqua Vortex getting triggered there. Ooh. 
Super Spino will need it. Getting off the hit, taking out the Epistasy Recordia, and now dropping Dino up to his third Dino. That Dino being the Super Sign Raptor. Again, Awaken Mode on two. Oh, this could be interesting. I feel like it could come down to whether or not Dino Hug gets the hit when this thing wakes up. Or oh, I might not even get that far and Dino Hug could just win anyway. Or, or Jonas Chu could just win with the Dino Tactic. But yeah, it's definitely an exciting match this. And it could all come down to these next few moves. Oh, the Sin Raptor gets the first hit. Aqua Vortex getting triggered. Oh, uh, once. Oh, the Sign Raptor got some extra. And it's awakening time. Ooh, I, I feel like it could have done with that when the Dino Tech was activated. Oh, it's a time! Yeah, that's enough for Dino Hug. Dino Hug getting a crucial, crucial opening win against Jonas Chu. The sign wrapper coming in to finish the job, and that is just the start Dino Hug needed to make up for those lost points, for the point deduction for being a naughty boy. So, yep, let's have a quick look at the table, and then we'll end the session. Well, well, Group F looking a bit open there. Getting Dino Hug, despite winning their opening match, still rooted to the bottom thanks to the points deduction, but getting a crucial opening win, which, you know, is always crucial, especially when you start on minus four. And then you have Ratchet up top with our bonus point win over Dino Nerd. Diddy Darius in second on three points. And then these three, yep, they get off the mark. So yeah, let's see who's playing each other next. So we'll have three versus six. So it'll be Ratchet against Jonas Chu. Could be a good opportunity for Ratchet to extend that lead at the top. Diddy Darius taking on Dino Hug. Ooh, a good opp could be a good opportunity there for Dino Hug to close the gap. And then we'll have Arctic Warriors against Dino Nerd. But yeah, long way to go before then. So yep, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, please leave a like. And stay tuned for next time where we will kick off round one for Group G. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. <laughs>